11.45 p.m. Twin Falls, Idaho. Gas station clerk Brandy Owens is behind the register. Holding a full-time job like this one is a huge stride for her for one big reason. I've been in my addiction since I was uh, 13 years old. I've been sober for six years. I quit cold turkey. It's miserable. Now, life is finally going well for Brandy, or so she thinks. Hey. How are you? Hey, My name is Brandy Owens, and I survived an armed robbery. Hey, Brandy. Hey, Brandy. Hey, Brandy. One, two, three. I'm gonna open the cash register, sir. Three. Here. Oh, everything, everything. Send it over here now. Everything. Go ahead, sir. If I have to come around here, I'm gonna throw it. I'm going. When you have a gun in your face, your life flashes before your eyes, and you have certain thoughts. Mine was my kids. That's all I could think about was my kids and what they were gonna do without me. Brandy suspects the assailant is robbing to fuel his own addiction. I did feel sorry for him. I never robbed anyone or nothing like that, but I've been in that addiction. Open the other cash register now. I already know how to go now. My strategy was to more or less just give him whatever he wanted. Three. You got five, six, I'm five, 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 sure. What if he would have gotten to that one? What would he have really done? You know, that's what scared me the most, because I didn't know. Give me your purse. I have no money in Give it. Give me your purse now. All the rest of the money. That's all the rest. I know you got more money. Then he walks behind the register. I swear to God, sir, I don't have it. It was hard to breathe. It was hard to move. I couldn't really talk. You know, I mean, I really couldn't say full sentences at all. Brandy tries to give him her last two dollars. Oh, yeah, sir. All right, thank you. I felt very relieved when he walked out the door. I felt shocked because he didn't shoot me, uh, even though he kept t telling me that he was going to put a hole in me. The next customer walks in to find Brandy. No, no, no. I just got robbed. Are you okay? Really? No, no. The woman calls police, but the assailant is long gone. At home, Brandy falls apart. All I could do is lay in the fetal position and cry because I was so scared. Days later, Brandy gets a tip at a recovery meeting. A girl walked up to me and stated to me that she knew who had robbed me. And she gave me his name. She passes the information to police. They arrest 25-year-old Cody William James Mead. He's charged with armed robbery, convicted and sentenced to 10 years to life in prison, taking into account crimes he continued to commit in custody, including holding a fellow inmate hostage and spitting on deputies. When he got arrested, I felt at ease. I felt I could sleep that night without having the thought of him coming through my window or coming through the door or coming to my job. I see myself as a survivor because even after the robbery, I maintained my sobriety and I stayed sober through it all. But her trauma remains. After the robbery, I kept having nightmares. I didn't know what to do. I was talking to a counselor and she told me to get a therapy dog. I got a chihuahua. His name is Snow. He's really been there a lot for me. If I'm upset, he'll come over and I totally calm down. Brandy credits Snow with getting her through the anxious waves that still come her way. Therapy dogs are increasingly being used to help treat post-traumatic stress disorder in people who have survived deep trauma.